Yeah, buddy. Well, hello. Campers, lovers of the great outdoors. I'm Donnie Pavlini. Donnie Pavlini Outdoors. And I'm going on a little camp out tonight. And it's supposed to get down to around 26, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, don't know the conversion. I'm sorry to say for... Uh, Canada and Europe and things like that but it promises to be a, a chilly night for this old southern Mississippi boy but uh, I've pretty much loaded everything I'm going to go and have a, a nice little comfort camp for one night I've been very sick and uh, so I am more than a little excited to get out there and get it on Well, I made it to the site. I'm over here at Flint Creek Water Park again, and I'm on the right on the lake over here. I didn't really want to be on the lake, so to speak, because of the the wind and stuff. <clears throat> I'm expecting the wind to roll in tonight, but I'm going to position my tent in a way that the back of the tent's going to prevent a lot of problems there. And tonight, I'm going to be sleeping on a cot. Yeah, you heard it right, on a cot. Uh, it's my first time really to ever sleep on a camping cot. I never have done it before uh, I've got some buddies of mine that have started doing it and they say it's a good time So I'm gonna try it out myself. This will be home for tonight. It is without a doubt the Coleman Highline 4. It's a four-person tent which means in DPO's economy of things It's perfect for exactly two people So I'm gonna get my cot in there set up the bedding and it's fire time and of course, gotta have a little coffee. I hate coming in the tent with my shoes on, but it's unavoidable. Go ahead and get my self inflating. Got a two inch self inflating mat that I'm gonna use for this. Like I say, temps are gonna get down to about, oh, 25 or 26 degrees. I know it's supposed to be 26 on the coast where I'm from, but I'm actually about 30 miles inland. So it's going to be, I don't know, probably about 5 degrees cooler. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, let this guy go ahead and air up a little bit. And sleeping bag tonight is going to be my absolute favorite sleeping bag. And uh, nothing fancy, nothing expensive. It's the Coleman Montauk. 20 degree Fahrenheit or negative 6.7 C sleeping bag. I like it because it's really airy and it's my god is it warm. It is just like being wrapped up in mama's arms and uh, so we should be sleeping very comfortably tonight and of course got my Magellan camp pillow. Can't sleep without my pillow. So. so I'll let this go ahead and air up a little bit. I just need enough. It's a two inch mat really. I could go ahead and shut the valve off now if I want to. I don't really need it to be that thick. So I'm good to go. First for Donnie Pavlini Outdoors and uh, I just wanted to get away and have a little comfort camp. Like I say, I've been under the weather. I had the flu. Man, guys, you don't want any of that. I'm telling you, that flu is horrible. Uh, it knocked me flat, and uh, that's okay. I put the dukeroo back on it, and I'm here today. Are you kidding me? Just went through the trouble of feather sticking and striking with a ferrocerium rod and the damn camera wasn't even on. Yeah guys, I was going to impress you with my bush craftiness, but that didn't work out. Well, it was a nice little fire in no time. 
Honest to goodness, guys, I've been having so much fun out here. Honest to, <laughs> man, I just uh, really I got through with my cooking. Um, had a pretty good supper. In fact, I'm there's the remains of it right now. Cooked up in the old Stanley. See if I can put some light on the subject here. Um, a little SOS, a little something on a shingle. And the shingle that I made was some little cornbread fritters. This Jiffy corn muffin mix. And it was good. It still is good. What am I talking about? But I've got a lot to clean up over here before getting ready for bed. And got a few people to talk to on the telephone and such. Really is a good night. It's about 31 degrees right now. Well, it's bedtime, folks. A little chilly. And... It's gonna be snug as a bug in a rug. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Sweet dreams. I wanted to cook up a little El Cafe 6 Robusto this morning. And my fuel canister. I bet you, yeah. <laughs> I bet you northern guys are laughing at me. I swear to God, it's funny. But my fuel canister, uh, it was nothing coming out, man. It was just, uh, it wouldn't ignite. So I just threw it in the sleeping bag with me for about 20 minutes. And uh, anyway, warmed up the gas. And coffee will be served in about five minutes. 25 degrees. Actually got down to 24 uh, last night. But uh, I slept fantastic on this cot and this sleeping bag. Performed brilliantly. Man, I tell you what. Um, got the old coffee. Enjoying it on the cot. And uh, it's going to be a little while before I get up and make breakfast. <laughs> but uh, really good night. Fantastic. It is definitely... A breezy one this morning. Yeah, man. Icy and slushy as hell this morning. Got a little bit of ice on the little lake this morning. Tell you what, all my northern brothers, much respect to you guys. Cause I'll tell you what, uh, cold ain't comfortable. It's really not. At least not for me. Nice little comfy car camp in the cold. Got down to 24 Fahrenheit. Sorry, I don't know what the centigrade or Celsius conversion is, but it was cold. My buddy Mike called me said it got down to 17 for him last night in Georgia and like here the wind winds what makes it cold guys I mean it could be 10 degrees warmer and if the winds blowing 10 miles an hour faster you're gonna be colder I can tell you I really like this tent I only camped in it once and I camped in, well, this is the second time, but uh, before this camping trip, I only camped in it once. And uh, it did a great job with this fly on it. No wind, but plenty of ventilation. I didn't, uh, see I've got the tie outs uh, for summertime use where you can get more ventilation and then here you've got this little window that you can roll open but the rain fly without being tied down goes pretty close to the tent and uh, absolutely no wind at all which was awesome I think I'll use this tent more oh man this fire is absolutely marvelous enjoying my third cup of coffee this morning and 
think I'm gonna have a brunch. I've got some of that SOS from last night. And I think I'm gonna make a mountain house uh, breakfast skillet and then pour that uh, SOS on top. That ought to be pretty darn tasty. Car camping is fun, guys. It really is. I mean, get, getting out in the woods, that's a blast, too. It really is. But sometimes you just want to bring out all the gear and, and just get out here and play and make it sort of the way it is at home. Uh, listen to that woodpecker. You go, boy. You go. What magnificent creatures. This is going to be some good, yeah. The idea is to get this hot water into this, and then we're going to put some of that in there, and we should have a really nice breakfast. It's time to get down to the nitty gritty. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Good old mountain house eggs, scrambled eggs, and bacon, and the icing on the cake, so to speak. SOS. Lots of ground chuck, bell pepper, onions, garlic, black pepper, and a little bit of salt. This stuff will stick to your ribs, guys, for sure. May not be pretty, but it's good. I had a buddy of mine was telling me something pretty interesting. He said, I, of course, I don't know much about the true northern lifestyle, but he told me how to turn a dishwasher, convert a dishwasher into a snow plow. And it's, it, when you think about it, it makes sense. All you gotta do is buy her a damn shovel. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Well, guys, Thank you for joining me on this little adventure. I need to get a new camera. Because this camera that I have, um, batteries just don't last long at all in the cold. It just doesn't. There's so much more about my camping trips that I'd really like to show, record document just for my own purposes as well as to share it with you but uh, I'll have to do that I have to get another camera maybe some extra batteries or something but uh, again it was a awesome night just what I needed I just came down I had the flu and uh, and then the holidays and so forth and I have really been sorely needing to get out here. And uh, 
I couldn't have asked for a better night, really. It was cold. It was an adventure, something different, something different. For us Southerners, you know, 24 degrees Fahrenheit is definitely something different than what we're used to. It's been a colder winter than normal, and uh, I couldn't be happier. So, from Donnie Pavlini Outdoors to you and yours, have the best day, week, month, year possible. We'll see you in the woods. Take care.